Okay, this tutorial is for triggering triax with DC current. Now most people don't realize that you can have a separate DC supply to trigger a triac like in this schematic right here. So basically what you're going to do, the one I'm using is a BT136-600 and the pinout is just like this, T1, T2. T2 is going to go on the load side. T1 goes towards the neutral side and G is the gate. So what you're going to do is on a 120 volt circuit, there's your line coming in, goes into the load, could be anything, a light, electronic device, flows into the triac, which is T2. When it leaves T2, it goes into T1, connecting to the neutral rail, completing the circuit. Now you have to turn the triac on and off, and you could do that using a separate battery if you want, or you could use a transformerless power supply on the same line that you have here to put out a DC voltage to trigger this. Or you could just trigger it all from AC. But there are, there's a lot of times when you're going to want to trigger it with DC. Say you come up with a circuit that runs on DC and you want to have it trigger something on AC. So this is perfect for that. All right, so you have, in this case I have a 6 volt battery, I'll show you in a minute, right here. So you take the negative and make sure it's tied to the neutral rail. This is critical. You don't want to do it backwards. You want to make sure it's negative to neutral. And you verify it with your multi-tester, with your DMM in the electrical socket to make sure whoever wired the receptacle did it correctly. So negative to neutral. And it's also a good idea to put a fuse here between the negative and the neutral. In case this ever shorted this triac and the, one of the terminals shorted to the gate, you could have 120 volts going to your battery. So put a very, very low uh, amperage fuse right here. More than likely get away with a 50 milliamp. So if it does happen, it won't be too catastrophic and it should short right out quick. So you take the plus, goes into a switch or a circuit that's controlling this to go on and off. And then you have a resistor to limit the current going into the gate of the triac. Now with this triac here, the BT136, the maximum is 35 milliamps. And the voltage, I think the maximum is 12. So I'm using 6. So to calculate, it's very simple. You just take the voltage in, divided by the current you desire, and you'll get the resistance in ohms. So I just use a 330 ohm right here. And this battery, like I said, is a 6.2. And I'm going to demonstrate right now. I have the extension cord feeding in to a 7 watt night light and the, the capability of this triac is very high probably a thousand or twelve or fifteen hundred watts just make sure you have a heat sink on it with thermal compound and you should be good so the load this is the line now I know the wire is green it doesn't make a difference you take the the line coming in goes to the load which in this case is the 7 watt bulb the other side of the load is the red wire All right. That feeds into T2, which is the tab part. So the tab and the middle terminal on this triac are T2. T1, which is the first one, that goes to the neutral rail right here. This neutral completes the circuit to the neutral side of the, the house supply. Now you take the 6 volt battery right here. You take the ground the ground from the circuit which is the neutral and you tie that to the negative I have a little bit of a fuse here it's about a hundred milliamps but I'd like to have it see a 50 there if you're going to do it so make that a 50 on the neutral side so you're going to take the positive of the battery and you're going to feed that right over into the resistor leading into the gate and how I'm going to trigger it right now is just by touching this to the negative to the neutral rail and connect it to the negative on the battery. So it's already on. I didn't realize that. All right, so now I'm just going to demonstrate. I'm going to take this right here. This is going to complete the circuit from the battery to the gate. 
and you see the light come on. And I checked it. Again. Working perfectly. And I checked the terminals on the bulb, and I'm getting a full 120, which means the gate is fully open. So it's, a, it's really a good circuit to have if you're going to design stuff. Now you can trigger AC devices. So like I said, in the event, now I'm going to leave that plugged in. All right, so that's in now. In the event that the, the triac shorts out and goes to ground, you're going to have 120 volts trying to go to this battery. So you want to make this fuse as small as possible. So as soon as the current tries to go in, if that shorts, the fuse will blow and the battery will be okay. All right, I'm going to demonstrate with this drill now just to show you the, that the power is no problem at all. I'm going to plug that in right here in a second. But I'll move the camera away to the drill so you can watch. All right, here we go. I'm going to touch it right on. Off. 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 Triggering from this battery. 